grow many type of vegetables very easily at your home with this help of the DWC hydroponic system. If you are interested in growing many vegetables into this DWC system, then you only need to take focus on the nutrition management. If you manage your nutrition well as per the vegetable, then you can you will be able to grow uh, many vegetables with a good quality. Hello friends, welcome again to my channel Organic and Hydroponic Urban Grow Pro. Friends, what you see over here is my DWC bucket system and today in this video, I am going to discuss in detail about making the nutrition into this DWC bucket for growing many type of vegetables. Here you can see we have a lot of bucket into the cascading and you can grow it in one, two or many buckets at a time. Only you need to manage good nutrition. Further into this video, we will see about what type of nutrient we want to, need to use and how we are going to prepare this bucket for the planting. Now friends, you can see all these buckets are filled with the water. Now what we have done, we have filled this water with a way that after putting this lid and a net cup, it will be just touching to the bottom of the net cup. That level of the water we have ensured first into these buckets. Now we need to add the nutrition into this. Now first we will understand the general formula for the nutrition what you can add into it which you can use for the growing the vegetables. You can do the specific formula also with the vegetable for getting the higher yields. But I will discuss you the general requirement of the nutrition. So on the common list the we require nitrogen around 150 ppm then phosphorus we require around 31 ppm potassium we require 210 ppm these are the macronutrients with this we require calcium around 90 ppm and magnesium around 24 ppm that is the secondary macronutrients with this sulfur is by default getting added into the system apart from this we also need to add some of the micronutrient for which you can take the ready made micronutrient mix from the market and add around 2 to 3 gram every 100 liter of the water. So you will get the, all the nutrition required for the plant growth. Now you need to calculate with the, the commercial fertilizer available into the market. You can choose the water soluble fertilizer and calculate the amount of nutrition required in terms of the commercial fertilizer. Now before going for the nutrition, first we must understand how we are going to prepare this. Now as I said you, we have leveled this all this bucket. Now first we need to measure what is the pH and TDS for this water. So here we have collected the rainwater and we can see that this TDS is around 46 which is good. If you don't have collected any rainwater, then you can take RO water also, it will be good. Only thing you need to ensure that your TDS level must be below 100, so that whatever nutrient you can mix will maximize your use for your plant growth. Now here we are going to measure the pH. So pH is coming around 7.2, which is little above the normal it is slightly basic so when we do the solution we will reduce the pH now either we can mix nutrition in each of the bucket or you can do take we have like us we have taken a one bucket each from this hot bucket and collected into this bigger bucket where we are going to mix the nutrition and once we mix the nutrition we are again going to distribute this water onto all this bucket this is how you can manage a good distribution of the nutrition into equal amount to the all bucket. Now we will know about the nutrition. Now what we have done, we have already done this action and we have collected this nutrient and weigh this. So here we have two type of nutrient with us where one is the part A and one is part B. Now part A consists of calcium nitrate, a potassium nitrate and a small amount of the chelated iron while the part B consists of a potassium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, micronutrient and some acid. 
Now, what we need to do, we must have a pH of the solution below 7. Our pH is above 7.2. So what we will do, we will first add some acid into this water. So acid will lower down the pH for the stock water. After adding acid, we are going to mix our all the solution, uh, nutrient solution into this. So we need to carefully add this and at the same time we need to stir it. That's how we are going to mix all the nutrient into this bucket. Now we have mixed this solution into B. Likewise we are going to mix the solution into the bucket A also, the A solution. and. Here, once this solution is mixed, then we are going to distribute this into this all this independent bucket and then we will measure again its pH and TDS. So let us complete this mixing work. So now we have stirred it well and both our nutrition solution A and B stock solution is ready. Now what we need to do, we need to add this solution into these tanks. So we have measure of the one the bucket of this solution taken out a water taken out from this. So we will replace that water again with the nutrition solution. We will add both the nutrition solution into equal amount. So simply we will measure one bucket full and add into water. Now we are adding into this and one bucket of this. So we need to level this properly so that all the nutrition distribute equally well. Once you add it, we need to again the stir it well so that the nutrition solution get mixed well with this water. Now this is ready. Now just we need to do a small check. So once it is okay, we can do it for all the buckets. So for that again we are going to pressure pH and TDS. The target pH is around 6. So we are putting this, now this is coming around 6.2, so we can keep the pH of the solution around 5.8 to 6.2 and this is good enough. So we need not to add any more acid into this for the solution. Now it's a time for measuring the TDS. Now TDS target is around 700 to 800 TDS for the good growing of the plant into this DWC system. So we are again going to measure TDS with this meter and it is coming 645. So we need to add some more solution so that our TDS come down to the required level. So what we will do, we will add small amount of both the nutrition. This will be sufficient as per our experience and again stir it well and measure the TDS. It has to come near 700 to 800. So now we are measuring it again. Now it is coming 705. So this is the good TDS for starting our plants into this DWC system. So friends, this is a simple way you can manage your nutrition into the buckets. You can use single buckets, you can use many buckets. For many buckets you can multiply the nutrition like we have done, make it into a common area bucket and distribute to the all the buckets. Now for different vegetable you can make the different formula to get the more effective output and good quality of the fruits. But we have prepared over here a general thing which we can grow all the things into it. In the future I will explain you in detail about the detailing of the different nutrient for the different crop. But Right now we are going to complete our nutrition adding into these buckets and we will start growing our plants. So friends, how do you like my way of growing or making the nutrition for the DWC bucket in a multiple way? Write me back into the comment box. And if you like my way, the way I am doing, please subscribe my channel and keep your bell notification button on so that you will get updated with the another things I'm going to update into our hydroponic system. If your friends are also interested in growing hydroponically, you can share this video so they can also start growing 
the simple way of the DWC and grow many vegetables very effectively and eat fresh. Happy growing!